All right, Jared, I, I think this was a Freudian slip of AOC. And, you know, she rolls her eyes and says, oh, that's going to be cut and clipped. Well, yeah, you're darn right. We're going to cut and clip that because she didn't go on to correct herself. She just went on to try to clarify what she said. But in truth, that's what she means. They want the money from billionaires, but really they want the power to be in the hands of the government instead of the private sector. Yeah, yeah, it really strikes me. Somebody who calls herself a democratic socialist, I do think about, you know, that democratic drops real fast once they actually get into power. And I think that, look, I mean, you don't have to just listen to what AOC said uh, this time. You can go back to the policy she's put on the table. You can go back to the Green New Deal. I think it was her chief of staff who talked about that and said basically the climate change part of that was the residual part. The real emphasis was to transform the American economy. And what does it do? It does things like bans air travel, it creates massive redistribution schemes. It basically does socialism. And I think that's, that's what she's about. The idea that uh, essentially people like herself, uh, people who are maybe socialists, can understand how the economy works and redistribute the way that they think is most fair ultimately ends up being tyrannical. Well, it does. And I, I think, too, when she when she talks about the people, she means it differently than when you and I say the people or when the Declaration of Independence says, you know, the Constitution says we the people. You know, th those phrases mean something different when you're looking at it from a liberty standpoint versus when you're looking at it from a communist standpoint. Because from a communist collectivist standpoint, as I said in the introduction, they they portray communism as being, you know, oh, everyone owns everything and no one owns anything. But the truth of the matter is there are still people in charge. There are still people making decisions. And the power is in the hands of those people making the decisions. It's just when you have a communist system, the other people, most of the people, don't have a vote because it's not a democracy. Right, with no regards to things like individual rights. I mean, you know, things like even private property. I mean, obviously this goes back to the teachings of of, of Marx, uh, I mean, look, I mean, that that does give power to people. That we, the people, have this power because we are protected from the power of government, because we are protected from those who are powerful. People like AOC, they don't see those limitations. Their limitations are anything that they can dream up of, any kind of system that they create that they think is fair and just. It doesn't matter if they trample on your rights, because they're giving you something so wonderful. And I think that's really the danger of the system. I mean, our founders were, were, were wise enough to create a system uh, that limited power, limited the power of those in government and even limited the power of the people so that we do have freedom, we do have liberty. I think under the socialist system, whether one calls it democratic socialism or what, how you want to label it, it doesn't recognize those things and ultimately leads to that road to serfdom. Right. Well, it doesn't recognize those things because everything that you and I consider to be a right, that our Constitution enshrines as inherently given to us, meaning from God, cannot be violated by the government. When you're under a socialist system, even if they call themselves a democratic socialist system, they think the government has the power to revoke those rights as long as it's, quote unquote, in the public good. And they use this idea of public good as an umbrella to just obliterate everybody's freedom to choose anything that's different than what the socialists like Bernie Sanders and AOC would choose. And that's why I show this video of President Trump to contrast this, because he talks about how the goal of these people is absolute power, no dissent not allowed, prohibited and punished, and how he and his administration and the majority of the American people, certainly Republicans, are never going to allow that to happen, both for the sake of our economy, but also for the sake of our freedom and our liberty and our entire livelihoods.